folks. So if you have an umbrella or you don't mind getting wet, uh, if you could uh, seat some interior tent space to uh, some more folks that are coming in. Uh, this tent is what we got. So I, I do have some more guests there. Thank you. 
when you when you get here, you know, right up here, you know, 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 you Please rise for the playing of our national anthem by our Fairlawn High School student musicians. Veterans, present Hall!
Big round of applause once again for our Fairlawn High School student musicians. Luckily, we have an overhang right here, uh, for them, which is, which is uh, very fortuitous for us. My name is Paul Gorski. I am principal of Fairlawn High School, and I am very honored to welcome each and every one of you here today for dedication of Military Monument uh, at the exterior of our school, and also a military uh, tribute wall on the interior of our school. There'll even be lunch. So I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to beat that on a rainy Veterans Day. Now in your program, uh, there are a number of folks that were listed uh, for thanks. Um, you know, I want to mention a few of them now at this point as well. Uh, first, in terms of our, our Board of Education, who uh, there are uh, members here today, and our Superintendent of Schools. They are so uh, very supportive of all of our efforts uh, here, not just at the high school, but in all of our schools, as we have veterans recognition programs, uh, and certainly uh, in terms of the education that we provide to our students year after year about the sacrifices of our brave men and women in uniform. I'd like to also thank our uh, Buildings and Grounds crew, our custodial crew, uh, of course our student musicians, as I mentioned, and our Interact Club uh, and its student membership. Uh, the leaders of that Interact Club I'll be introducing in, in just a minute. But uh, those uh, folks have all come together to really have a nice ceremony today and something really befitting of the occasion of this uh, monument and tribute that will stand here at Fairlawn High School for years and years to come. Most importantly though, as is on the digital sign out of the corner of uh, Burdan and Burbank, is we are here to thank and recognize our veterans. And those that have served our country over the years, the brave men and women uh, who uh, in good times and in not so good times have stood tall to protect freedom here in this country and around our world. You know, the weather is actually pretty fitting today, I think. Uh, it was a beautiful day when we, when we woke up. The sun was shining. Uh, and in some instances, we could think that it was the calm before the storm, right? Because the storm can't, has come. Uh, we're here and we're persevering through it. And that is the example that our brave men and women in uniform have provided for us day after day, year after year, as they continue to serve with distinction. We have wanted, over the last several years, to recognize those that uh, passed through the halls of Fairlawn High School sometime between 1943 and today uh, for their service and their sacrifice. Uh, and so that our current students and students that come after them can understand what it means to serve a cause greater than yourself. I think that at no time than the present is that more important for students to have that visual reminder. Um, you know, it's, it's with you know, great humility that I stand here before you because of the way in which this community and this school has come together time and time and time again for events such as these uh, and ways of, of recognition uh, and showing our true pride and thanks. Um, to represent the broader community uh, here today is our mayor, Carolina Mayor Kirk Peluso. Come on up. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to recognize that Councilman Krause made it, and I'm sure members of council are scattered throughout. Uh, it's just such a pleasure to be here today. Uh, we just had our ceremony over at Borough Hall at 11 o'clock, and then coming here. Uh, I shared with everyone that was in attendance at Borough Hall that uh, as I speak here today, the Borough of Fairlawn is getting recognized by the state of New Jersey for being one of the best communities in the state of New Jersey for recognizing and providing service to our veterans. And that is something we are all extremely proud of. 
And when we were in communication about getting this award, they said, well, are you going to be here to accept it? Uh, we said, no. And they said, well, why not? Like, well, the reason we're getting this award is the reason why we won't be there is because we want to be here. We want to be with our Fairlawn veterans and continue to say thank you and continue to show our support for them. Uh, I couldn't thank the school district enough for the work they're doing with this memorial. This is such a great tribute to the veterans that we have in our community. And I know as mayor and with the council and everyone else, we're going to continue to do more for the bor in this borough for our veterans because you deserve so much more for everything you did for us in our country. So thank you all so much. It's an honor to be here. And thank you for our service here, our community. Thank you, Mayor Peluso, and that's truly an outstanding honor uh, for the community of Fairlawn. It once again speaks to dedication of, of everyone uh, in this town, in this broader community. I would now like to invite up to the microphone uh, the driving force behind this uh, tribute uh, and countless, and when I say countless, I mean countless, hours uh, that went into the organization of this um, I think that, you know, when you see this monument unveiled and when you go inside and you see the recognition wall uh, and everything that, that comes in between, uh, I think that you'll understand just what an undertaking it really was. Um, you know, there's a true uh, spirit of volunteerism, of sacrifice, and that is truly embodied uh, by the two women that I'd like to invite up to the microphone now at this time. And they are Interact Club Advisors, uh, Dina DeSantis and Kristen Burke. With gratitude to Mr. Garcia, our Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education, and Mr. Gorski for greenlighting this project, we are most honored to have been part of this effort to recognize all veterans and our Fairlawn High School alumni. This reflection grove and our wall of honor will serve as opportunities for the community at large and our students to reflect on the sacrifice and bravery of those who protect our freedoms. Our students will have the opportunity for history to come alive in a new and unique way, and we look forward to incorporating these tributes into our curriculum. We would like to thank our community for supporting this project and our veterans for your bravery, your sacrifice, and your service. We thank you. <coughs> We have uh, in some more introductions of students. Um, as Mr. Gorski mentioned, uh, Dina and I are the advisors of the Interact Club, which is the high school version of Rotary, um, whose motto is service above self. Um, our students have been working so hard behind the scenes with us to make all of this possible. So I would like to introduce you to them and then following lunch, um, they will be giving tours of the high school if anybody would like to see the building. I know many of you have not been back here for some time and there's been some changes and if you'd like to take tours, our students are here to take you around the building. So I'd like to invite up the members of the Interact Club.
So I understand that there were uh, some veterans that were, that were going to assist with the unveiling. Uh, so if you would step forward now at that time. As everyone gets into place, I want to take one more moment to acknowledge uh, all of the generous donors uh, for this project over the course of the last few years. Um, you know, COVID was a real wrench in the works to having this project come together and come to fruition. Uh, so it really was something to see how these donors came together uh, and contributed over the course of the last few years to make this happen. So I just want to thank once again all of our donors who are recognized uh, either in our program uh, or in placards out here or inside as well. Are we all in place? All right. On the count of three. One. Two, three. The military tribute monument at Fairlawn High School is now officially unveiled on this Veterans Day, November 11th, 2022. I know it's picture time, so I know that folks are getting some pictures at this point. So just a little uh, service announcement in terms of where we go from here, okay? Um, after you've had a moment to uh, take in the site of the monument, I would ask that you please proceed to your right and into the school via what we call the patio entrance here. And at that time, you will see right in front of you our interior tribute wall. Continuing past there, we will guide you into our cafeteria for our luncheon reception. Thank you for coming, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you inside. Thank you. 